as Jonathan mentioned, we have used Hoop Exchange to be able to kind of parse uh, geometry data coming from CAD systems so that we can translate that and, and load that into the uh, to share space. Uh, and then once we have it in share space, uh, we uh, very much wants to, to visualize this. So uh, this is the uh, configured share space user interface. Uh, I will not go through the full details here, but I'll show some of the, where we have the Hoops technology kind of integrated into our own web application. Uh, so the first thing I could do in here is I'll go into a module that's called parts. So here in, within uh, this module, I can find my parts and my assemblies. Um, if I start selecting data that I found, uh, we can see that uh, within our web application, we have this kind of preview component. It can preview images. This is a, actually a ping image. Uh, it could preview Word documents or, or the Office Suite kind of tooling. Uh, but what we've also been able to do is to take the Hoops technology and, and to give us like previewing of geometry data. So if I step to the next slide here, we can see that on this part, I actually store a, a JT file. And here I get an isometric 2D uh, drawing of, of that geometry. So it's a quick way to kind of visualize like when you're in, in share space here, you're not even around, you want to uh, find things, you, you also get the, the kind of visual cues to, to help you find what you're looking for. Um, that's 2D. Uh, then, of course, we've used the uh, Hoops uh, communicator and the web components there uh, to build a 3D viewer uh, within the ShareSpace web application. So here we can see this pump that I had uh, in my PowerPoint presentation. Uh, this component here, that's Hoops. Uh, to the left and to the right is kind of the ShareSpace web application, but we have this kind of interaction between. So if I start navigating information in here, I select this electrical motor. You can see that, okay, that's the electrical motor. I can start navigating throughout the information network that ShareSpace holds. Now I've simplified it, but as an example, it could be some technical spreadsheet about that uh, motor that you find. Uh, I can also see that in this case, this has been shared with one partner. Uh, if I select the base plate here, uh, again, other types of information that could exist here. It could be assembly instructions or just 2D drawings maybe. Uh, I can also see that in this case, this whole base plate has been shared with, uh, in this case, text of 3D, which is a uh, support there. Uh, so that's uh, the view capability. And it's, it's real nice uh, to kind of have this integration between um, the communicator viewer and, and share space. Uh, another use case that we have is that if I bring in another window here, I'm actually logged on as a user uh, within text of 3D. So um, earlier on, I shared only the base plate uh, with them. So they, TechSoft in this case cannot see the whole pump, but they see what they need to do. So this could potentially be a welding company then that would go and weld these things. Uh, but as I do that, it might be so that there are issues with my design, it will not fit uh, where they've been asked to install it, or, or there might be uh, deficiencies in the design, it will not be able to support the weight of the pump or what have you. And then we can use standard functionality, uh, the kind of redlining uh, that we have in the hoops here. Uh, so I can start you know, annotating things, I can start measuring, start commenting. And finally, once I've done all that, I can <clears throat> from within ShareSpace create something we call a problem report that will then uh, take a screenshot of, of this. Uh, it will also be able to replay this later on if me as the original equipment manufacturer start going through the problem report register, I can have the hopes of your kind of replay uh, the scene and, and put out the, the redlining. And that gives me better understanding of, okay, what's their problem? Uh, I can go back, uh, start doing, starting the change process, provide the changes, and then uh, use the benefits of share space, dealing with all these changes, being able to communicate the changes and making sure that we're working on the correct information. That was a very quick uh, walkthrough of what share space is and does and how we've integrated with Hoops technology.